to our campus. It's a legacy of greatness. We are the Golden Lion family, committed to innovation and truth. We all come from different places, but now call the Pride Lands home. Whether it's the sciences, arts, or business, we're shaping the minds that one day will reshape the world. The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Become a part of the pride. The following is a presentation of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff Sports Network. football on the Golden Lions Sports Network from Simmons Bank Field here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. The Arkansas at Pine Bluff Golden Lions getting set to take on the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. We talked about the weather conditions just a tad bit cooler than last week. 58 degrees, beautiful day, light breeze from the north, perfect football weather for the second Saturday of October. Golden Lions won the toss. We have deferred until the second half. Austin Kresminski will kick off. Golden Lions moving right to left on your radio dial. Let me hear you roar. As Kresminski steps into it, we are underway from Simmons Bank Field. Kickoff fielded at around the 9-yard line. Running right across the 15-20. Hemmed up at the 25-yard line. Kick return made by number 14, Donald Johnson. And that's where... The Delta Devils will begin at the 25-yard line. The Jarek Bryant, quarterback for the Golden Lions, or for the Delta Devils, I should say, as first quarter action all season long, brought to you by Explore Pine Bluff. They'll stack the receivers to left and to right. Bryant will hand off, hitting the backfield, drop maybe for a loss. And Jalen Stewart coming off the edge, making the first contact, wrapping up running back John Derrick Smith. Officially no gain. Sticks did move just a little bit back, right between 24 and 25. Officially, we'll call it no gain, second down and 10. One receiver left, now three right, little misdirection. And Bryant will keep option pitch, far side, reverse, first down up to the 30. Nine-yard line. Clayton on the on the carry. Started on the right side of the formation. Went in motion left to the far side. A little option action left. Gained up to the 39-yard line. Gained a 14. And a Delta Devil first down. Temporarily a stoppage of play. Scott Johnson is our referee. Please reset the game clock. The 14 minutes, 18 seconds. 14, 18. Reset the game clock to 14-18 and now back rolling from the 39. Two receivers left. They'll go three right. Empty backfield for Bryant. Drops, looks right, throws over the middle, caught, hit immediately at the 47-yard line. Thig pin with the stop. Catch made by Wilson. Gain of seven will make it second down and three. Just underway here at Simmons Bank Field. Beautiful day for football on this second Saturday of October. Thanks for spending part of your Saturday afternoon with us right here on the UAPB Sports Network. Running left on reverse in the Golden Line territory. Across the 40, the 30, 
forced out inside the 20 on that run. Clayton once again for the big game. Forced out at the 19-yard line. Gain of 35 on that run. First and 10 Delta Devils from the Golden Lion, 19-yard line. One receiver left, two right now. They'll send him in motion again is Clayton. They'll hand off Smith up the middle. Stood up at the 17 by Stewart along with Zion Farmer. Number 23, John Derrick Smith on the carry. Also, Reeves and on that stop, gain of two to the 17. Second down and eight. Under 13 to play. Opening drive of the contest, no score. They'll flip the formation once again. Go three receivers on the left side, two right. Football on the far hash. Bryant drops, looks left, quick throw. Incomplete as Jalen Thigpen laid the wood that time, jarred the football away from Marcus Kidd. That'll make it third down and eight. Thigpen with a big hit, knocked that football away. Third and eight for the Delta Devils. They convert 32% of their third down conversions defensively. We allow conversions on 42% of third down plays. Third and eight from the Golden Line, 17 for Mississippi Valley State on the opening drive. And with two tight ends, two receivers, single back. Smith offset left. Clayton in motion left. Play fake. Bryant throws far side. Intercepted at the one yard line. And stepping out of bounds, number 23 with the pick for the Golden Lions, Martavius Washington. Great stop for the defense. Seventh interception on the season. We've already talked about surpassing last year's total of five. Only downside, first and goal, first and ten, I should say, for the Golden Lions at our one-yard line. Of course, last time we were down here, Taylor Porter went 98 yards. Does he have 99 in him? We'll go two receivers left, one right. With Shannon Patrick at quarterback. Porter offset right. Handoff, Porter gets out of the end zone. Runs through one tackle, powers forward to the five. Was contacted inside the goal line, ran through that hit, got four up to the five, second down, and six. With Ballard, Ralph, and Miller. At the receiver. And off Porter trying to run left. Cuts it back. First down up to the 13, called the 14-yard line. Gain of nine. First down for UAPB. Now Renal St. Jour playing some tight end for the Golden Lions here. He'll flip between number 82 and 52 today as Kobe McNeil checks in for UAPB. From the near side hash at the 14. One receiver left, three right. Ballot in motion left, a little misdirection, poured up the middle. Runs out of one tackle, powers forward, gain of seven, maybe eight. Could be a monster game for Taylor Porter based on these three carries, already 21 yards. From the 22, it'll be second down and two. Second and two from the 22. First drive for the Golden Lions following the Washington interception at the one. Patrick on the keeper, up the middle. Dives forward to the 25. Has enough for a UAPB first down. So four plays, four runs. Two first downs for UAPB. And that's another Golden Lions. From the 25. Ballard and Ralph lined up left. McNeil and Miller lined up right. Omar Allen now offset right of Patrick. Omar gets the football, runs outside, makes a move, runs through a tackle, still going, gets four to the 29. Good, patient, efficient running by Omar Allen. And right now, every play so far has been a run. 
You talk about establishing your will, putting your imprint and mindset on this game. Golden Line offense right now pounding the football from our one-yard line. Runs out to the 29, 28 yards all on the ground. Second down and six, under 10 to play in this first quarter. No score. Patrick drops, throws, caught, first down at the 43-yard line. Tyron Ralph with the gain of 14 and another UAPB first down. First and 10 Golden Lions from our 43. 9.45 and counting in the first quarter. No score. First drive for UAPB. Little flip to Ballard. Trying to get outside up to the 45, maybe the 46. A little short pass reception of two yards. A little forward flip makes it the pass. So a gain of two going quickly. Second down and eight. Patrick play fakes to Allen. Throws far side. Wheel route. Did he hang on to it? Yes, he did. Was he in bounds? He was not. But a great catch by Tyron Ralph. Could not get one foot in bounds on that far sideline at around the, the Valley 35. Great throw, great catches. Couldn't get a foot down. That'll make it third down and eight for the Golden Lions. We convert 32% of our third down plays so far this year. Third and eight for UAPB at our 45-yard line. Following the Washington interception at our one. Two receivers left, one right. Make it three by one, three by one. Porter up the middle. He gets... Six to the Valley 49. It'll be fourth down and two. And the way we run the football, will the offense stay on the field? Great confidence when it's third and eight and you can run for six to make it fourth and two. Offense will head to the sideline. Punting unit will come on. So fourth and two. Piney on to punt. Piney with the punt, and it will hit inside the 20, inside the 15, inside the 10, trickles down to the five-yard line, and that's where Valley will begin when we come back with 8.22 to play in the first quarter. No score on the UAPB Sports Network. In Pine Bluff, there is more than meets the eye. Explore the new Visitor Information Center, Freedom and Blues exhibit, and the Aquatic Center. Visit one of the country's oldest historically black colleges and universities. Learn about the inspiring history of African Americans in the area and see the world's second largest bayou. Find out more about the cultural and recreational activities Pine Bluff has to offer by visiting explorepinebluff.com. Pine Bluff, it's worth exploring. Simmons Bank has a lot of pride in Pine Bluff. It's been our home since 1903. But our goal has always remained the same, to help make our customers' dreams come true. From our headquarters downtown to more than 200 locations across eight states. That's a lot of dreams coming true. And they all started right here in Pine Bluff. Simmons Bank, Pine Bluff Proud. Last season, the UAPB men's sports teams combined for the best ever finish in the SWAC Commissioner's Cup standings as the best overall men's program in the conference. The men's cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track teams set the tone for the top finish. The men's cross country team won its first SWAC championship since 1993. The men's indoor track team finished third, while the men's outdoor track team finished fourth. The men's golf team made a nearly 100-shot improvement in finishing fourth, and men's basketball finished tied for third. Men's cross-country coach Chris McCoy was named SWAT Coach of the Year, and men's golf coach Roger Totten was named SWAT Co-Coach of the Year. Congratulations to our men's sports programs. The UAPB Lions are coming. Eight twenty-two to play in the first quarter. No score. First and ten for Valley from its five-yard line. Golden Lions are able to flip field position. Short run, gain of two. 
up to the seven yard line as Smith with the carry. So the interception by Washington stopped the first Valley drive, able to move the football to midfield. Flipped it now, Valley's second possession starting inside the 10 yard line. It'll be second down and eight following the tackle by Reeves. They'll go two receivers left, two right. Smith offset left. Play fake. Bryant will keep across the 10, brought down at the 15. Wallace with the tackle. So officially third down and one as the original line of scrimmage was the six-yard line, not the five, but the six. Third and one for the Delta Devils. Just past the midway mark of a scoreless first quarter. Empty backfield, now Clayton in motion left. He will get the football, trying to get outside. Has enough for the first down and more across the 25. Across the 30 steps out at the 32-yard line. Gain of 17 and a Valley first down. So they've had good success with Clayton on the reverse. That now three carries for him for 67 yards, if my math is correct. First and 10, Valley from its 32-yard line. Empty backfield, now receiver in motion left. Will play fake. Bryant will scramble. He's pressured. Running near side, throws out of bounds. And not fooled on the play, Kobe Watts. That'll make it second down and 10. They ran a little reverse action left with Johnson, as they've been doing with Clayton. This time, Brian kept the roll right. Kobe Watts staying home, not fooled on the misdirection. We'll make it second down and 10. Three receivers left, one right. Bryant will keep. Across 35, 40, first down into Golden Line territory. Steps out at the 46. So kept the football as we key into the running back, but a late flag on the play. Back at the Valley 36-yard line. Everyone backing up. Initial indication against Valley. So a personal foul called against Valley. Should back them up to the 21-yard line. Flag thrown at the 36. So we're going to try to sort out the, the field position so the play will stand. Odd because where the flag landed at the Valley 36, that's actually where the football will be moved to. So after all that, still first and 10 for the Delta Devils as we approach six to play in the first quarter. No score. Pass near side. Great catch at the 32-yard line as Johnny Wilson made an over-the-shoulder catch. Long throw from the far hash to this the near side of the playing field. Tremendous catch up to the 30 two-yard line. Gain of 32, first and 10 for Valley. Under six to play in the first quarter, no score. Smith, trying to pound out yards, breaks through a tackle up to the 28. Gain of four. We'll make it second down. Make it Barnett, pardon me. Gain of four, second down and six. So Valley with two good drives here. In this first quarter, still no score. Five and a half to play in the first quarter. Two receivers left, three right. Little trips right. Bryant, straight drop, looks right. He will take off. Across 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and he will score. So Bryant scores on the run right down the center of the hash for the first points of the afternoon. So 28-yard run 
Delta Devils on the board, leading 6-0. Little eye formation, will they go for two? They will send the player in motion. They will snap it, and the try is no good. Flag on the play. A lot of players in motion in the Delta Devils' backfield. Should be. We'll see what the penalty is. False start against Delta Devils. It'll decline, and the try is no good. So with 5.19 to play in the first quarter, Delta Devils 6, UAPB nothing. On the Golden Lions Sports Network. Coca-Cola has been refreshing Arkansas for more than 100 years. Today, Coca-Cola Consolidated makes, sells, and distributes over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors globally. More than 400 of our teammates pour their hearts into their work at three facilities across the state every single day. From Camden to Little Rock to West Memphis. We're expanding in West Memphis with a $33 million investment that will help us serve our customers even better. Some say you can't bottle this kind of passion, but we do it every day for you. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas, Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Six nothing Valley leads following their scoring drive of ninety four yards. Two-point try, no good. Six-nothing Delta Devils. As Schuster to kick off. Short kick fielded at the 20 by McNeil. And apparently called for the fair catch. So we'll get the football at the 25. So why the football be at the 23? They're going to sort things out here. And Scott Johnson and his crew. So we will start from the 23. So we will start the 23, first and 10 for the Golden Lions. Three receivers left, one right. Porter in the pistol behind Patrick. Patrick, hand off to Porter, running left, now right. Across the 35, has a first down, up to the 39-yard line. End of 16 on the first down run. Five carries. 
for Taylor Porter. 43 yards. Three receivers left, one right. Now Porter in motion. Patrick drops, looks, throws down the field, incomplete. Had Josh Wilkes, a little miscommunication there. Josh was open at the Valley 40. Passed on a little bit behind him. That'll make it second down and 10. Officially five for 41 for Porter. Patrick, two or four passing, 16 yards. Two receivers left, two right. Now Porter in motion left. Patrick straight drop, pressure throws right, caught. First down, up to the 40 in Valley Territory. DeWan Miller falls forward to the Valley 34-yard line. Gain of 27 and the UAPB first down. We'll stack the receivers, two left, two right. Football just inside the left hash. Four and a half to play in the first quarter. Golden Lions trail, 6 nothing. Short pass, Wilkes near side, 30. Powers forward to the 25. Should be enough for another UAPB first down. Would depend on the spot. They'll put the football at the 25. So a gain of nine, second down, and one. Same formation for UAPB. Porter. Has a first down across the 20, 15 up to about the 14 yard line. And that's another Golden Lions. Golden Lions in the red zone. Two receivers left, two right. Under four to play in the first quarter, trying to erase a 6 0 deficit. Patrick will give, no, he'll keep it. Running left, makes a move. 10 brought down at the nine. We talked about it last week. Shannon's first career touchdown pass. He gave the fake to Porter. The end crashing down, ran right past Shannon into Taylor. Shannon made the good decision, kept it, ran left, got five to the nine, second down and five. Two receivers left, two right. Porter offset left. Patrick straight drop, looks right, throws, caught at the five. Near the line of the game for the first down is Miller on the far side. Should have enough from our vantage point. Will depend on the spot. And just inside the four has enough for a first down. First and goal, Golden Lions from the Valley. We'll call it the four. We'll call it the four. Two receivers left, one right. Porter in the pistol, now offset left. Patrick gives the Porter, cuts it up. Touchdown, UAPB. Very efficient. Eight-play drive for the Golden Lions. Zach Pivniska on for the point after. Zach Pivniska on to attempt the PAT. Piney to hold. Snap down. Kick up. And it is good. It is good. With 2.51 to play in the first quarter, Golden Lions 7, Delta Devil 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. The 410 Lounge has lunch specials and happy hour five days a week. Formally. vegetarian options as well. Lunch is served daily at 11 a.m. with happy hour beginning at 5 p.m. The facility is also available to rent for your special event. Call 870-441-1645. Visit the 410 Lounge, proud supporter of your Golden Lions. Hi, I'm Ford Trotter for Trotter Ford Lincoln in Pine Bluff. We believe in being tried and true. And that means earning your repeat business by giving you our best customer service and best deals every single time. Like up to $14,000 off MSRP on the 2019 F-150 Crew Cab. That's right, $14,000 off MSRP. So come see for yourself. Shop Trotter Ford Lincoln at Pine Bluff and TrotterFord.com today. Try True Trotter. Dear Adidas, we believe that through sport, we have the power to change lives. A female. 
Coach and me. Is anybody watching female sports? Hold us a kiss down. For female athletes are being left behind. We have the power to make a new world for female athletes. So come together, fight for equality, and level the field to ensure that no matter the challenge ahead, she breaks barriers. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Kickoff and return made at the 18 yard line. Golden Lions lead seven to six with 2.44 to play in the first quarter. First quarter action all season long brought to you by Explore Pine Bluff. Eight play, 77 yard drive for the Golden Lions. As Porter catches in from four yards out for the touchdown. From the 13, reverse running right. Clayton brought down, good open field tackle by Blake Connor at the 21 yard line. Gain of three, second down, seven. Two receivers, two tight end set. They'll slow it down, check with the sideline. Bryant has the signal. Now running back. Barnett offset left, now offset right. Low option. They'll force the pitch near side. Good defense by the Golden Lions. Number 20 on the carry, Dwayne Barnett. Stop made by number 23, Martavius Washington. Washington with the stop. Good job of forcing the pitch. I believe it was Beard who forced the pitch from the quarterback, read him all the way, made him get rid of the football. And that's what that's you cannot coach it, teach it, execute it any better than what we just saw there. Third down, seven, three receivers left, two right, empty backfield for Bryant. 120 to play in the first quarter. Golden Lions lead, 7-6. Bryant drops, looks left, steps up, throws. Caught near the line to gain for the first down. Catch made by Myers. Will depend on the spot. He does have enough for a Mississippi Valley State first down at the 29-yard line. So football just across the hash at the 29, 45 seconds and counting. In this first quarter, Taylor Porter already seven carries, 56 yards, and a touchdown. Three receivers left, one right. Play clock at two, at one. Timeout, Delta Devils. Up head coach Vincent Danzi. Of course, some familiar names on that Valley coaching staff, one of the greats. Of all time, and Willie Satellite Totten was Jerry Rice's quarterback with the Delta Devils back in the 80s. Roger Totten the second, back a quarterback for the Delta Devils, son of our own Roger Totten, head golf coach, and also facilities manager for athletics. And congratulations to UAPB men's basketball head coach George Ivory announced yesterday as one of the 2019 selections for the Southwestern Athletic Conference Hall of Fame. We'll present Coach Ivory during the second quarter action here on the field. Appropriate that we're playing Valley. His alma mater had a tremendous career as a basketball player in the early and mid-80s. Back here with 28.8 to play in the first quarter. 
Clayton running a little misdirection. Now Bryant will keep it, makes a nice move, brought down. All that for likely no gain on what could be the final play of the first quarter. Clock at 15 and counting. We'll see how Valley will play it here. And they will let the clock run out. And that is the end of the first quarter after one. Golden Line 7, Delta Devil 6 on the UAPB. Sports I am Network. attorney Ephraim Neely of the Neely Law Firm, where I provide excellent legal service at an affordable rate. I practice criminal, domestic relations, and personal injury work. My office is located at 1514 South Poplar Street, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. The telephone number is 870-536-9336. That's 870-536-9336. As a graduate of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, I support the Golden Lion and Lead Department in all its endeavors. Who are you rooting for? This UAPB Sports Network broadcast is brought to you in part by Adidas, Coca-Cola, Simmons Bank, Explore Pine Bluff, The 410 Lounge, Toyota, Shars Health and Wellness Clinic, RJ Sports Grip, Smart Chevrolet, Sissy's Law Cap, and Go Forward Pine Bluff. Support the team that supports your Lions. The Prowling Partners Program is a great way for the Central Arkansas business community to show its support for Golden Lion Athletics. Show your pride in the pride by becoming a proud Prowling partner. Call 870-575-7949 to get more information. We salute RJ Sports Grill and Charis Health and Wellness Clinic. Proud supporters of the Golden Lions. Set to begin the second quarter. Golden Lions lead the Delta Devils by the score of 7-6. to six. Bryant on the keeper. Makes a move, goes outside. Brought down at the 31-yard line. We'll make it third down and seven. We'll make it third down and seven. Two receivers left, two right. Valley one for two on third down. Plays pressure from the backside. Xavier Mitchell trying to get there, and Brian just throws it away. Great defensive pressure from Xavier Mitchell. Chase him down from his right defensive end position. Chase him all the way to the far side. No. Fielded by Ralph at about the 32 short gain up to the 37 yard line. First golden line possession of the second quarter. 17. yards for the Delta Devils. Most importantly, 7 6. 
Golden Lions in front. One receiver left, three right. Porter up the middle, short gain. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. We'll give him one to the 39. Second down and nine for Porter. Third 100-yard rushing game of the season last week. Tenth career 100-yard rushing game. Two receivers left, two right. Porter offset right. Now goes in motion left. Patrick, empty backfield, straight drop. Throws over the middle, caught. Ballard into Valley Territory. Brought down at the 39-yard line. Big catch and run for number one. Tompkins among those on the stop for the Delta Devils. Up to that 39-yard line, first and 10. From our 39 to their 39, gain of 22. And the UAPB first down. One receiver left, three right. Give to Porter. Running left. Powers through to the 35-yard line. Gain of four. We'll make it second down and six. Carry on the stop for the Delta Devils. Golden Lions now moving left to right on your radio dial. Trying to extend a 7-6 lead. Two receivers left, two right. Golden Lions were now just pounding and pounding, but hitting the passes when they're there. Porter trying to get outside, makes a move, gets two, three, four, trying to get that first down, still on his feet. First down at the Valley 29-yard line. Just great determination by number two. First and 10 for the Golden Lions at the Delta Devil 29-yard line. Gain of six on the run. Now 10 carries for 65 yards. So Ballard lined up on the far side. He'll be joined over there by tight end Jeremy Brown. Handoff. Allen cuts it up, breaks one tackle, holds on to the football, gets one to the 28. And you saw it right there. Delta Devil trying to rip that football out of Allen's hands. Held on to it with two hands. Gain of one to the 28. A little quick huddle. Could be a little action here for the Golden Lions. Two receivers left, three right. Patrick drops in trouble, tries to buy some time, sacked back at the 31. Officially the 32, loss of four, will make it third down and 13. Under 11 to play in the first half, Golden Lions leading 7-6. One receiver left, three right. Allen offset right. Now goes in motion left. Patrick drops. Throws near side. Has Dewan Miller caught. Touchdown, UAPB. Miller got free down the near sideline. 32-yard touchdown reception. And the Golden Lions extend to a 13-6 lead. Piv Niska on for the point after. Snap down, kick up, and it is good. With 10 38 to play in the first half, Golden Lions 14, Delta Devils 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. Join us each Monday for the Lions War All Access Show. The show airs live from 410 Lounge, formerly The Social, from 6 to 7 p.m. Be a part of our live audience as we recap the week in Golden Lions Athletics. Hear from UAPB coaches and administrators and enjoy great food and beverage specials as we get you set for Monday Night Football. 
If you can't join us in person, listen live on... You feel it from the moment you enter our campus. It's a legacy of greatness. We are the Golden Lion family, committed to innovation and truth. We all come from different places, but now call the Pride Lands home. Whether it's the sciences, arts, or business, we're shaping the minds that one day will reshape the world. The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Become a part of the pride. Golden Lion student athletes had strong performances in the classroom. The women's cross country, women's track, men's tennis, and men's cross country teams each earned a perfect academic progress rate score of 1,000 for the 2017-18 year. A total of 13 of the 14 UAPB teams achieved above the NCAA mandate of 930 over the previous four year period. So congratulations to our UAPB student athletes. You make us proud. Golden Lion student athletes had strong performances in the classroom. The women's cross country, women's track, men's tennis, and men's cross country teams each earned a perfect academic progress rate score of 1,000 for the 2017-18 year. A total of 13 of the 14 UAPB teams achieved above the NCAA mandate of 930 over the previous four year period. So congratulations to our UAPB student athletes. You make us proud. Back here at Simmons Bank Field, Golden Lions lead by the score of 14 to 6. As new SWAC Hall of Famer George Ivory being presented here at Simmons Bank Field, one of the great point guards in conference history. Led Valley to the NCAA tournament in 1986. Gave Duke all he could handle. And, of course, a full circle moment for Coach Ivory. Back in 2010, as he led UAPB to the NCAA tournament as head coach. Tournament win over Winthrop led to a second-round matchup against those same Duke Blue Devils with head coach Mike Krzyzewski, who was coaching back in the 80s when Coach Ivory played, still at Duke. Remember Coach Ivory they had a great conversation uh, during the media sessions on that practice session on Thursday afternoon in Jacksonville. And now the ultimate honor for Coach Ivory in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. He's among 2019 Hall of Fame class who will be officially inducted. December 20th on Celebration Bowl weekend in Atlanta. Short kick return by Sedavian Gray up to the 30-yard line. Number five on the return, Sedavian Gray. Golden Lions leading 14 to 6. First and 10 for Mississippi Valley State from its 30-yard line. 10-32 to play in the first half. Golden Lions leading 14-6. to six. Two receivers left, one right. Bryant drops, throws far side. Incomplete. Great coverage by Washington once again. On the far side at the 45, Wilson, the intended receiver. And good inside coverage by Washington. Got inside of Wilson, beat him to the spot. Both players went for it. Fall ball, ball falls incomplete. Second down and 10. One receiver left, two right. Bryant will roll right, far side pass caught. Wilson up to the 37-yard line. Still on the stop. Third down and three 
for the Delta Devils. They are one of three on third down so far today. We'll give Rashad Clayton out there a little bit more beef from the D line for the Golden Lions. Gray goes in motion, a little misdirection, trying to run left. First down, run across the 45, across the 50. Big stiff arm, still can't get him down. And a big run by 27, Caleb Johnson. Listed at 205, looks a lot bigger than that. But the power run to the midfield stripe, gain of 13, and a Delta Devil first down. 9.30 and counting until halftime. Golden Lions lead 14-6. to six. Two receivers left, one right. On the reverse, trying to get outside. Clayton now cuts it back. He slides down. Loss of one. We'll make it second down and 11. Under nine to play in the first half. 14 to six, UAPB in front. Bryant now has a signal play clock under 10. One receiver left, one right, two receivers, two tight ends. Power run up the middle, big run. 40 up to the 38-yard line, and once again, Caleb Johnson on the carry. Gain of 13 to the Golden Lion, 38. Big man can move nimble on his feet. No try a little misdirection once again. Play fake. Brian over the middle. Intercepted at the 15. Running back near side, 20, 25, 30. Trying to get the return up to the 35-yard line. Interception made by Sean Steele. His third takeaway in the last two games. Second takeaway of the afternoon for the Golden Lions. First and 10 UAPB at the 35-yard line. Two receivers left, two right. Patrick will play fake. Drops. Rolls to his right flag on the play. Incomplete. Patrick throws this one away. Pressure flag. Mark Evans called for the hold. Eight interceptions on the season by the Golden Line defense. Sean Steele, his third takeaway, two picks and the fumble recovery in the last two contests. Three receivers left, one right. A little bubble screen. Ballard up to the 30. Gains five. It'll be second down and 15 under eight to play in the first half. Patrick throws, caught far side. Wilkes, first down up to the Golden Lion 48-yard line. Gain of 18. And the first down. One receiver left, three right. Patrick will play fake to Porter. Pass Wilkes again, far side. First down up to the Delta Devil 41-yard line. Gain of 11. Golden Lions on the move following the steal interception.
One receiver left, three right. Porter running left, cuts it back right up to the 37-yard line. Gain of four will be second down and six. Topkins among those on the stop for the Delta Devils. Six fifteen and counting in the first half. Golden Lions leading fourteen to six. Porter now offset left. Gets the football. He's in trouble. Gets past one, but not the second defender. Back to the forty. Tompkins once again. This time, blitzing from the far side. Lost back to the forty. We'll make it third down and nine, with under six to play until halftime. Golden Lions, one of three on third down conversions so far today. Three receivers left, one right. Porter offset right. Straight drop for Patrick. Looking right, throws near side, incomplete. Intended for Miller, knocked away by Shaw. I think Shaw jammed his finger, but appears to be okay. Set the game clock to 5:29, and Piney will come on to punt. We're just about ready to resume action on to punt for the Golden Lions, number 48, Miles Piney. And Clayton will await the punt at the Delta Devil 10-yard line. Good punt. Will hit at the eight. Down at the six-yard line. That's where Valley will begin with 5.18 to play in the first half. Golden Lions lead 14-6 on the UAPB Sports Network. The ideal cut round diamond was developed by a mathematician in 1919. The method was used to release the maximum amount of brilliance inside a diamond. That was 100 years ago. The future is fire polish, and you have to see it to believe it. Nanotechnology creates an explosion of fire that's over 300 times more brilliant. Come see the brilliant future of diamonds for yourself at Sissy's Log Cabin. Sissy's Log Cabin, because life's too short for ordinary jewelry. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers. That motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Dear Adidas, we believe that through sport, we have the power to change lives. A female coaching me. Is anybody watching female sports? Puma Sikista. But female athletes are being left behind. We have the power to make a new world for female athletes. So come together, fight for equality, and level the field to ensure that no matter the challenge ahead, she breaks barriers. Simmons Bank has a lot of pride in Pine Bluff. It's been our home since 1903. But our goal has always remained the same to help make our customers' dreams come true. From our headquarters downtown to more than 200 locations across eight states. That's a lot of dreams coming true. And they all started right here in Pine Bluff. Simmons Bank, Pine Bluff Proud. First and 10, Valley from its six yard line, trailing 14 to six. 
Brown brought down by Thigpen. Loss of one back to the five. Good job of Thigpen crashing down, tracked him down from behind. Loss of one will make it second down and 11. Under five to play in the first half. Second down, 11. Pass near side, caught. Clayton to the 15. Pass to Clayton up to the 14-yard line. We'll make it third down and two for the Delta Devils. As Johnson powers to the 17, gains three and enough for a Mississippi Valley State first down. Now under four the play in the first half. Golden Lions leading 14 to six. Going with the big formation, two receivers, two tight ends. We've seen a lot of this in the last couple of games. The reverse right. Gain of one by Gray. We'll step aside. Ten seconds for station ID on the UAPB Sports Network. Second down, nine. Gray on the reverse across the 20, 25, 30. First down brought down at the 35-yard line. Tackle made by Thigpen, but enough for a Delta Devil first down. With three to play until halftime. Three receivers left, one right. Bryant will keep. Brought down, gain of two to the 37. Good open field tackle by Watts from his linebacker position. We're seeing some pretty sure tackling so far by these Golden Lions, of course, Valley. Tough defensive team. Good defensive battle so far. Two and a half to play in this first half. We'll have key stats from the first half and also scores from around the conference. Some of the afternoon games just getting underway around the SWAC. And the run short gain by Johnson to the 38-yard line. Third down for the. Timeout. UAPB will take it with them with 154 to play in the first half, leading 14 to 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. The 410 Lounge has lunch specials and happy hour five days a week. Formerly The Social, located at 303 West 31st Avenue, ask about their tasty vegetarian options as well. Lunch is served. And Lounge, proud supporter of your Golden Lions. Dear Adidas, we believe that through sport, we have the power to change lives. A female, coaching me. Sandy, what are you watching? Female sports. Pulis and Kista. But female athletes are being left behind. We have the power to make a new world for female athletes. So come together, fight for equality, and level the field to ensure that no matter the challenge ahead, she breaks barriers. barriers. 
Last season, the UAPB men's sports teams combined for the best ever finish in the SWAC Commissioner's Cup standings as the best overall men's program in the conference. The men's cross-country indoor track and outdoor track team set the tone for the top finish. The men's cross-country team won its first SWAC championship since 1993. The men's indoor track team finished third, while the men's outdoor track team finished fourth. The men's golf team made a nearly 100-shot improvement in finishing fourth, and men's basketball finished tied for third. Men's cross-country coach Chris McCoy was named SWAT Coach of the Year, and men's golf coach Roger Totten was named SWAT Co-Coach of the Year. Congratulations to the men's sports programs. The UAP Lions are coming. Following the timeout, third down seven for the Delta Devils. From their 38, Bryant drops, pressure, scrambles right. Brought down for a loss, back inside the 35 by a pack of Lions. Monroe Beard among those on the stop. Timeout called by the Golden Lions with 1.39 to play until halftime. And we see it throughout the year. Head coach Cedric Thomas back calling defensive plays. Doesn't look right, doesn't feel right. He will call the timeout. Good timeout there. Make sure everyone knew their alignment and assignment. Get the third down sack. Now 13 straight games with at least one sack by the defense. One timeout remaining, 139 to play in this first half. A chance to extend this 14-6 lead. And we get the football to begin quarter number three. Women's volleyball, a tough, heartbreaking five-set loss to Southern here on Thursday on the road tomorrow at Prairie View, 5.30 p.m. at Texas Southern on Monday at 6.30 p.m. Back at home Thursday, 6.30 p.m. versus Grambling. Ralph, a waste of punt, feels at the 27, breaks free from one. At the 30, tripped up just shy of the 35. They'll mark it at the 34, 129 to play in the first half. One timeout remaining for the Golden Lions. Patrick has started and gone the distance for the UAPB offense. 10 of 13, passing for 124 yards. Chance here for some points on the board before the half. One receiver left, three right. Porter offset right. Patrick, short drop, flips to Porter. Running near side, 35-40. Cuts it up. First down at the 45. Gain of 11. Clock will temporarily stop with 120 to play in the first half. Gain of 11. Clock back in motion. Come on, Mr. Umpire. Needs you to get out the way. Gain of 18, flag on the play, initial indication against the Delta Devils. Offsides Valley, play, penalty is declined, play will stand up to the Delta Devil 30. Clock stops with exactly a minute to play in the first half. So you have Ballard and McNeil split left. You've got Wilkes near side with Miller. 
Porter offset left. Short pass. Wilkes gets the screen. 25. 20. Brought down at the 17. Gain of 13. First and 10 UAPB from the Valley 17-yard line. Blood saw among those on the stop. Now we can slow it down. Clock's running, but we got plenty of time. Now Valley will call a timeout. Great drive so far by the Golden Lions. Here in this final minute plus of the first half, trying to move to five and two on the season, matching our best start since 2012. Of course, that 2012 season ended with the SWAC championship. Championship aspirations for this Golden Lions team and the second year head coach Cedric Thomas. For the three straight East titles at Alcorn, knows what it's like to build a championship program. Talked about it early in the season. Had that same sense. Said it felt the same way and certainly goes to Lion Nation and rallying around. 10 from the Valley 17. Empty backfield for Patrick. Pass over the middle. End zone. Caught. Did he get a foot down? Touchdown, Tyron Ralph. A tremendous diving catch in the near corner of the end zone. What a reception. 17 yards. As Tyron Ralph made magic. Waiting for the confirmation from replay. Still waiting confirmation. It is confirmed. Touchdown reception. Diving catch for Tyron Ralph. Pivniska on for the point after. Kick up and it is good. He won the sixth lead with 38.1 seconds to play in this. And Patrick now 15 of 18 passing for 100. By our camera crew. And after Valley scored first, 21 unanswered by the Golden Lions. One timeout remaining for the Delta Devils. We'll see how aggressively they'll try to play it here with 38.1 to play in the first half. to the Delta Devil 44-yard line. One timeout remaining for Mississippi Valley State. We've already picked off Bryant twice. Martavius Washington with one. Sean Steele with the other. Still looking for that elusive defensive score. Had some opportunities early in the season, but get that sense. That pick six is coming, or that fumble return, scoop, and score. Bryant dropped for a loss back at the 40. I believe it was Xavier Mitchell in there. 
number 16. And Valley will let the clock run. That could be the final play of the first half. As Bryant was getting ready to dial up a long pass down the far sideline, but Mitchell with the sack. Delta Devils will let the clock run out, and that is how the first half will end. A strong second quarter performance by the Golden Lions, and they are hearing it from this crowd. Golden Lions lead by the score of 21-6. When we come back, we'll go through all the key first half numbers, get you the early scores from around the conference, and get you set for second half action. That's up next right here on the UAPB Golden Lion Sports Network. UAPB Golden Lions Sports Report. Get the latest news on our official website at UAPBLionsWorld.com. Download our free mobile app. in Pine Bluff. 920 AM, the sports animal in Little Rock and on the UAPB Athletics app. This has been your UAPB Golden Lions Sports Report. For more information, visit UAPBLionsRoar.com. Simmons Bank has a lot of pride in Pine Bluff. It's been our home since 1903, but our goal has always remained the same to help make our customers' dreams come true. From our headquarters downtown to more than 200 locations across eight states. That's a lot of dreams coming true. And they all started right here in Pine Bluff. Simmons Bank, Pine Bluff Proud. You feel it from the moment you enter our campus. It's a legacy of greatness. We are the Golden Lion family, committed to innovation and truth. We all come from different places, but now call the Pride Lands home. Whether it's the sciences, arts, or business, we're shaping the minds that one day will reshape the world. The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. UAPB Sports Network broadcast is brought to you in part by Adidas. Coca-Cola, Simmons Bank, Explore Pine Bluff, The 410 Lounge, Toyota, Charis Health and Wellness Clinic, RJ Sports Grip, Smart Chevrolet, Sissy's Log Cabin, 
and Go Forward Pine Bluff. Support the team that supports your life. Coca-Cola has been refreshing Arkansas for more than 100 years. Today, Coca-Cola Consolidated makes, sells, and distributes over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally. More than 400 of our teammates pour their hearts into their work at three facilities across the state every single day. From Camden to Little Rock to West Memphis. We're expanding in West Memphis with a $33 million investment that will help us serve our customers even better. Some say you can bottle this kind of passion, but we do it every day for you. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Last season, the UAPB men's sports teams combined for the best ever finish in SWAC's Commissioner's Cup standings as the best overall men's program your track team set the tone for the top finish. The men's cross country team won its first SWAG championship since 1993. The men's indoor track team finished third, while the men's outdoor track team finished fourth. The men's golf team made a nearly 100 shot improvement in finishing fourth, and men's basketball finished tied for third. Men's cross country coach Chris McCoy was named SWAT Coach of the Year, and men's golf coach Roger Totten was named SWAT Co Coach of the Year. Congratulations to our men's sports program. The UAPB Lions are coming. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas. Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always.
at Simmons Bank Field for the 2019 Golden Lions season. That's up next right here on the UAPB Sports Network. The ideal cut round diamond was developed by a mathematician in 1919. The method was used to release the maximum amount of brilliance inside a diamond. That was a hundred years ago. The future is fire polish and you have to see it to believe it. Nanotechnology creates an explosion of fire that's over 300 times more brilliant. Come see the brilliant future of diamonds for yourself at Sissy's Log Cabin. Sissy's Log Cabin because life's too short for ordinary jewelry. Coca-Cola has been refreshing Arkansas for more than 100 years. Today, Coca-Cola Consolidated makes, sells, and distributes over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally. More than 400 of our teammates pour their hearts into their work at three facilities across the state every single day. From Camden to Little Rock to West Memphis. We're expanding in West Memphis with a $33 million investment that will help us serve our customers even better. Some say you can't bottle this kind of passion, but we do it every day for you. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas. Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Hi, I'm Ford Trotter for Trotter Ford Lincoln in Pine Bluff. We believe in being tried and true. And that means earning your repeat business by giving you our best customer service and best deals every single time. Like up to $14,000 off MSRP on the 2019 F-150 Crew Cab. That's right, $14,000 off MSRP. So come see for yourself. Shop Trotter Ford Lincoln at Pine Bluff and TrotterFord.com today. Tried, true, Trotter. Welcome back to Lions Roar pregame on the UAPB Sports Network, joined by defensive end Jalen Stewart. Jalen, tremendous turnaround for our defense in 2019. What things do you attribute our better play to this time around? Uh, just overall pursuit to the ball. Uh, you know, we've been working on our schemes and been studying film, knowing what the offense is going to do before it even happens, just knowing the formations they come out in and just being ready for whatever they give us. I think our defense has evolved from Jay Stu and the crew, as Coach Thomas likes to say, to you and really a band of brothers. We talked earlier about the different mindset that this unit has compared to 2018, and Coach Thomas has preached that a lot. How have the guys really bought into that and how you see it manifesting beyond just the football field? I mean, we're we're 100% locked in. You know, uh, guys going to study hall. We don't have guys missing study hall, going to class. And it all translates to the field. And, uh, you know, we just – we're just a solid group. Everybody's doing what they need to be doing on the field, and it's just the results are taking care of themselves. As a senior, how much pride does it give you going out in your last year as a Golden Lion with a great season so far with still a lot more to be accomplished? It's just a blessing. You know, uh, a couple years back, I never thought we would be in this situation, but now we're living it.
today. Visit UAPBalumni.org or call 870-536-2309. Can we count on you? Last season, the UAPB men's sports teams combined for the best ever finish in SWAC's Commissioner's Cup standings as the best overall men's program in the conference. The men's cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track teams set the tone for the top finish. The men's cross country team won its first SWAC championship since 1993. The track team finished fourth. The men's golf team made a and men's basketball finished tied for third. Men's cross country coach Chris McCoy was named SWAT Coach of the Year, and men's golf coach Roger Totten was named SWAT Co-Coach of the Year. Congratulations to our men's sports programs. The UAPB Lions are coming. Getting ready to begin the third quarter here at Simmons Bank Field in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Golden Lions lead the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State by the score of 21 to 6. Will be the Golden Lions football to begin the second half. Delta Devils. Late in returning to the field. The Prowling Partners program is a great way for the Central Arkansas business community to show support for Golden Lion Athletics. As Tyron Ralph and Kobe McNeil get set to return. Golden Lions moving right to left on your radio dial. We apologize having some technical difficulties with the video stream. We'll try to get those worked out for you for those trying to watch live on the UAPB Sports Network. Hang in there with us.
and five. Short drop, quick throw, caught. McNeil has the first down up to the 41. We needed five. He got six. Enough for Golden Lion. First down. Jones on the tackle for Valley. But a good first down on third down to keep this opening drive of the third quarter going. St. Jewel now in their tight end. Two receivers left, one right. Porter offset left from the right hash. Give to Porter. No, the fake. Pashi will keep it. 45 dives forward to the 47-yard line. Gain of six. He likes that head first slide. But a gain of six up to the 47. Second down, four coming up. Just underway here. Opening drive of the third quarter. Porter running right. Makes a move. Up ended, but has just enough for the first down. If he gets past that tackle, he may have been off to the races, but he got four in the first down. At the Valley 49. McNeil in. St. Jure out. We'll go with Ballard and Ralph split left. McNeil and Miller split right. Play clock at 10 from the right hash. Porter offset right. Play fake over the middle. Incomplete intended for Miller broken up by Bloodsaw. We'll make it second down and 10. Number 21, Andrew. Bloodshaw on the coverage. As Dewan couldn't quite get separation from Bloodshaw. Would have been a great catch. We'll make it second down and 10. With 12-22 to play in the third quarter. Opening drive of the second half. UAPB trying to extend a 21-6 lead. Little pitch to Porter left. 45-40 has a first down. Brought down at around the 33-yard line. Gain of 16 and another UAPB first down. 15 carries now 70 or 88 yards. If my math is correct, Golden Lions on the move from the Valley, 33. Two receivers left, two right. Porter offset right from the left hash. Straight drop for Shannon. Throws left, going deep. End zone for Ballard, incomplete. A lot of contact, no flag. It'll be second down and 10. Patrick's pass incomplete. Intended for Ballard. Ballard had a step. It'll be second down and 10. Covers that time by Jordan Brown of the Delta Devils. Second and 10 UAPB from the Valley 33-yard line. Stacked receivers, two left, two right. Play fake to Allen. Short pass to Wilkes. Cross the 30. Up to the 26-yard line. Gain of seven. We'll make it third down and three. Fifth catch for Wilkes. Three straight games with at least five receptions. We'll stack it again. We'll try it again with Allen, the running back, offset left. Brought down for a loss. Fumbles the football and recovered by Valley. Covered by the Devils, number 92, Jerry Garner. Media break, media break now. Media break. Media break now. Media break. Devils take over, first down and 10. First and 10. Valley from the 28. And tackle for a loss back to the 25-yard line. Watts with the stop. They'll move the football to the 26. We'll make it second down and 12. So first and over 
of the afternoon. Again, was emphasized all week. Allen couldn't hold on to the football, recovered by the Delta Devils. So quarterback change, Roger Totten, the second now at quarterback for Valley going against his old team, one receiver left to right. Saw him get some action last week against Virginia Lynchburg. Handoff up the middle to the 31-yard line. Caleb Johnson with the carry. Or make that John Derrick Smith up to the 31. We'll make it third down and seven. That brings up third down and for the Delta for the Devils. Valley three of six on third down conversions. Three receivers left, one right. Totten drops, looks, pressured. Brought down for a sack back at the 25-yard line. A.C. Gillum with the stop. And this Golden Lions defense continues to swarm and hunt like a pack. Have really stymied this Valley offense since the first quarter. Reed awaits the punt and gets it off. Fields at 35 by Ralph. Forced out at the 41 yard line. That's where we'll begin when we come back with 9 24 to play in the third quarter. Golden Lions lead 24 to or 21 to 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. In Pine Bluff, there is more than meets the eye. Explore the new Visitor Information Center, Freedom and Blues Exhibit, and the Aquatic Center. Visit one of the country's oldest historically black colleges and universities. Learn about the inspiring history of African Americans in the area and see the world's second largest bayou. Find out more about the cultural and recreational activities Pine Bluff has to offer by visiting explorepinebluff.com. Pine Bluff, it's worth exploring. Simmons Bank has a lot of pride in Pine Bluff. It's been our home since 1903, but our goal has always remained the same to help make our customers dreams come true from our headquarters downtown to more than 200 locations across eight states that's a lot of dreams coming true and they all started right here in pine bluff simmons bank pine bluff proud Last season, the UAPB men's sports team combined for the best ever finish in SWAC's Commissioner's Cup standings as the best overall men's program in the conference. The men's cross country, indoor track, and outdoor track teams set the tone for the top finish. The men's cross country team won its first SWAC championship since 1993. The men's indoor track team finished third, while the men's outdoor track team finished fourth. The men's golf team made a nearly 100-shot improvement in finishing fourth, and men's basketball finished tied for third. Men's cross-country coach Chris McCoy was named SWAT Coach of the Year, and men's golf coach Roger Totten was named SWAT Co-Coach of the Year. Congratulations to our men's sports program. The UAPB Lions are coming. First and 10 Golden Lions from our 41. Three receivers right, one left. Porter up the middle. Still on his feet. Gets two to the 43-yard line. Approaching his second consecutive 100-yard game would be the fourth of the season and the 11th of his career. Second down, eight. Under nine to play in the third. 21 to six. Golden Lions in front. Trying to move to five and two overall. 
two and one in conference play. Patrick short drop throws high, incomplete for Ralph. Trying to set up that screen on this, the near side of the playing field. Will make it third down and eight for UAPB. Two of six on third down conversions so far today are the Golden Lions. Two receivers left, two right. From right down the middle of the field, Patrick, straight drop. Throws far side. Incomplete intended for Miller. Bloodsaw in coverage. And a quick three and out for the Golden Lions. Break out the kick. So Piney on to punt. Kick. Contact as we ran into the likely kick catch interference. Break after the penalty. Kick catch interference. Number 36, the kicking team. 15 yards. First down. Valley ball at the 36. When we come back with 8.26 to play in the third, Golden Lions lead 21 to 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. Coca Cola has been refreshing Arkansas for more than 100 years. Today, Coca Cola Consolidated makes, sells, and distributes. Locally. More than 400 of our teammates pour their hearts into their work. In From Camden to Little Rock to West Memphis. We're expanding in West Memphis. Consolidated, your local bottler. Nearly a century ago, six academic institutions joined each other in Houston, Texas to form a sturdy, spirited association. Since that time, they've developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States in Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River, and the natural state of Arkansas, Students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and
And back at quarterback, Rose left. Completion on the far side into Golden Lion territory at the 45-yard line. Tackle made by Washington. Catch made by Mills. We'll make it third down and one for the Delta Devils. At the Golden Lion, 45. Approaching six to play in the third. Valley three of seven on third down conversions today. Bryant will keep it running left. Has enough for the first down. Needed one. He may have gotten two, but enough for the first down. And an injured Valley player on the field at the Golden Lion 40. Can't get the number on the injured Delta Devil. Now we have it, number 78. James Lofton, sophomore from Lamarck, Texas. Will be helped on to the Delta Devils sideline. First and 10 for Mississippi Valley from the UAPB 44-yard line. They'll change personnel. Clock moving now, 545 and counting. In this third quarter, 21-6, UAPB in front. Three receivers left, one right. And now timeout called. Timeout. Valley, the first charge. Give me 30 seconds. So a 30-second timeout called by the Delta Devils. Didn't like the personnel grouping that they had in. As they trail here, 21-6. Other scores from around the conference. Again, most games starting at 2 p.m., 8 to play in the first half. Alabama A&M and Grambling, no score. End of one, Alabama State 7, Jackson State 3. Five and a half to play in the first half. Alcorn 21, Savannah State 10. Early second quarter, Missouri s and and Texas Southern tied at 10 later tonight. Prairie View at Southern. First and 10, Valley from the Golden Line, 44. Bryant, shoulder fake throws near side, caught. Ball is loose. We're saying we have it. Jalen Thigpen has the football. What do the officials say? They're going to say Clayton was down at the 39, and we could have a replay here. Right now saying catch and reception up to the 38-yard line. Gain of six, second down and four, under five to play here in the third. And the play will... Stand. Bryant, play fake short, drop incomplete as that pass is dropped on the far side by Myers. We'll make it third down and four for Mississippi Valley State. That brings up third down and four for the Devils. Don't forget to join us Tuesday for Golden Lion Madness. Basketball tip off event starting at 6 p.m., free food. Event is free and open to the public at the H.O. Clemens Arena. Faculty staff game will highlight the evening. Of course, a big week ahead. Of course, join us every Monday for Lions Rural Access, our coaches show live from the 410 Lounge. Great food and beverage specials. Come enjoy a conversation with head coach. Secretary Thomas will recap today's game. Review the action in the conference and look ahead to the second half of the upcoming season. We'll also talk with head cross-country coach Chris McCoy to preview the upcoming SWAC cross-country championships. 
which are a week from this Monday in Clinton, Mississippi, outside of Jackson. UAPB men, the defending cross-country champions. So following the timeout, third down. For Valley from the UAPB 38. Little misdirection. Brian trying to find running room. Hit at the line but falls forward for the first down to the 32-yard line. They'll back it up. A bit too much misdirection for the Delta Devils. We'll back them up five and make it third down and nine. Football now at the 43. Line to gain is the 34. One receiver left, three right. Goes the line showing pressure. Bryant on the reverse again, brought down shy at the 39. Gain of five. It'll be fourth down. Gain of four. Kobe Watts, good arm tackle. Valley offense will stay on the field. Empty backfield. Two receivers left, three right. Bryant, straight drop, looks left. Throws over the middle, going deep, incomplete. Great, 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 great. And a great job once again by the Golden Lions defense. 3.40 to play in the third quarter. UAPB leads 21-6 on the Golden Lion Sports Network. The 410 Lounge has lunch specials and happy hour five days a week. Formerly The Social, located at 303 West 31st Avenue, ask about their tasty vegetarian options as well. Lunch is served daily at 11 a.m. with happy hour beginning at 5 p.m. The facility is also available to rent for your special event. Call 870-441-1645. Visit the 410 Lounge. Proud supporter of your Golden Lions. Hi, I'm Ford Trotter for Trotter Ford Lincoln in Pine Bluff. We believe in being tried and true. And that means earning your repeat business by giving you our best customer service and best deals every single time. Like up to $14,000 off MSRP on the 2019 F-150 Crew Cab. That's right, $14,000 off MSRP. So come see for yourself. Shop Trotter Ford Lincoln at Pine Bluff and TrotterFord.com today. Tried, true, Trotter. Dear Adidas, we believe that through sport, we have the power to change lives. A female. Coaching me. Watching female sports. But female athletes are being left behind. We have the power to make a new world for female athletes. So come together, fight for equality, and level the field to ensure that no matter the challenge ahead, she breaks barriers. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. First and 10, Golden Lions from our 39-yard line. Following the fourth down, stop by the defense. Short drop, Ballard on the screen. 45 brought down at the 48-yard line. Gain of nine on that first down play. Well, you've got Wilkes and Ballard. And Ralph lined up left with Miller right from the near side left hash. Porter trying to find running room. Gets to the 50 and enough 
for a UAPB first now. We'll step aside 10 seconds for station ID on the UAPB Sports Network. And that's another go to Lions. Official timeout for Ender Player on the field. Offensive lineman Bradley Burrell. Injured lineman walks off on his own power. Do round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the injured player. Bring the game for the Golden Lions will be number 72, Rashad Acosta. First and 10, Golden Lions from the midfield stripe. Three minutes to play in this third quarter. 21 to 6. Golden Lions in front. Same formation for UAPB. Three receivers left, one right. Now Ralph goes in motion right to make it two by two. Patrick straight drop, looks left, has time over the middle, open. Wilkes caught at the 30. Slips at the 28-yard line, gain of 22, and another UAPB first down. Six receptions, 82 yards for Josh Wilkes. Five receptions, 90 yards for Dewan Miller. Offense starting to find the groove against this tough Valley defense. Short drop, Ballard. Hurls the defender at the 15. Down at the 9. Get those big receivers outside. Set up that bubble screen. Ballard with the athleticism. Hurdle, it would be Delta Devil Tackler. First and goal, UAPB at the that at the valley, pardon me, at the valley eight yard line. Gain of 20 now, five receptions for Ballard. Two receivers left to right from the left hash. Porter with the football. Five, four, three, down at the two. Gain of six, second and goal. Three by one. Porter offset left. Patrick will keep it. He gets to the one. It'll be third and goal. Under 90 seconds to play in the third quarter. And flags on the play. Flag on the play. Defensive lineman Ray Taylor called for the unsportsmanlike conduct. First and goal for the Golden Lions from the one. Two receivers left, one right. Porter offset right. Gets the football. Powers in for. Can I get some hands? He scored. Can he get some hands? Still no hands. Now we have it. Touchdown, UAPB. It appeared from this angle with our binoculars that he got over the goal line. Delayed reaction, but touchdown on the board for Taylor Porter. Still waiting for confirmation. Going to be hard to overturn this one. I don't think they had the great angle. Yes, it is confirmed. Touchdown for Taylor Porter. His second of the afternoon. Now 19 carries for 99 yards. Pivniska on for the point after. Snap down. Kick up. And it is good. With 59.5 seconds to play in the third quarter, Golden Lions extend to a 28-6 lead. And for me, the big story, this Golden Lions defense 
allowed 160 yards in the first quarter. Since that time, just 115 yards gained by the Valley offense. Defense really setting the tone. Two big takeaways on interceptions. And once we figured out some things, made some adjustments, again, just 115 since the first quarter. And very methodical by this UAPB team. Coach Thomas talked all year, not really about big flash and dash, but kind of he likens it to Floyd Mayweather. Kind of 10-9, 10-9, just methodically, systematically break you down, winning round by round. And slowly but surely, we've extended now to a three-touchdown lead under men to play in the third quarter. Kickoff, big return on the far side. Good open field tackle by Chris Minsky, saving potentially a touchdown. It's Sedavian Gray with a big return into Golden Line territory. Football marked at the 37-yard line with 50.6 to play in the third quarter. Bryant back at quarterback. Play fake, short pass, left side. Catch and run made by Myers up to the 32-yard line. Washington on the stop, gain of five, second down and five. Two receivers left, two right in this final minute of the third quarter. Play fake, they'll try it again, this time dropped. That'll make it third down and five. Clock will stop with 33.6 to play in the third quarter. Shannon Patrick, 20 of 27, 256 yards. Valley now third and five. They'll have trips right. They'll stack it left. Incomplete. Sean Steele lays the wood, separates the football from Jarius Clayton. That will make it fourth down and five. The defense looking for its second fourth down stop here in this quarter. Valley offense will stay on the field. So they'll try to the space him once again. They'll stack the receivers left. They go with the triangle formation right. Bryant, straight drop. Looks left. Now comes back right. Intercepted at the 30 yard line. Jalen Stewart. With the interception, his father played at Valley. His parents both graduated from Valley. He has family in the Delta Devil area. A big moment for Jalen with the interception. Flag on the play. And we'll see what the ruling is. The steward dropped in coverage. Made the catch, made the pick, ended the drive. Here's the call. So we'll add 15 to it following the interception by Jalen Stewart. Third takeaway by this Golden Lions defense. First and 10 UAPB from our 48 with 14.9 to play in this third quarter. One receiver left, three right. A little toss to Porter, trying to get outside, brought down for a loss at the 45 on what will be the final play of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. Golden Lions, 28. 
Delta Devil 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. I am attorney Ephraim Neely of the Neely Law Firm, where I provide excellent legal service at an affordable rate. I practice criminal, domestic relations, and personal injury work. My office is located at 1514 South Poplar Street, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. The telephone number is 870-536-9336. That's 870-536-9336. As a graduate of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, I support the Golden Lion and Lead Department in all its endeavors. Who you rooting for? This UAPB Sports Network broadcast is brought to you in part by Adidas, Coca-Cola, Simmons Bank, Explore Pine Bluff, The 410 Lounge, Toyota, Shars Health and Wellness Clinic, RJ Sports Grip, Smart Chevrolet, Sissy's Log Cap, and Go Forward Pine Bluff. Support the team that supports your Lions. The Crowley Partners Program is a great way for the Central Arkansas business community to show its support for Golden Lion Athletics. Show your pride in the pride by becoming a proud Prowling partner. Call 870-575-7949 to get more information. We salute RJ Sports Grill and Charis Health and Wellness Clinic. Proud supporters of the Golden Lions. That's to begin the fourth quarter. The kick is up, and it is good! Now from the Simmons Bank kicking contest going on. If he can make this one, he will have a chance to earn $250 on his next kick. But if he misses, he loses everything. Here's the attempt. The kick is up, and it is... No good. Oh, Missed it right, but great fan interaction. Special thanks to Simmons Bank, one of the proud partners here of Golden Line Athletics and the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff as we're set to begin the fourth quarter, 28 to 6. Golden Lions second down, 14 from the 44-yard line. Three receivers left, one right. Porter offset right. Wilkes on the wheel route. 50, 45, has some running room. 30, 20, 10. Can he win the foot race? Yes! Touchdown, UAPB. Patrick to Wilkes from 56 yards. Wilkes got inside, got the blocking from the outside with the pull guards, broke a tackle. After that, it was all a foot race. And Wilkes, over 100 yards for the first time this season, seven receptions, 138 yards. And the Golden Lions keep 10-9 and 10-9 and 10-9 and pulling away from the Delta Devils. Pivniska on for the point after. Snap down, kick up, and it is good. And the Golden Lions are roaring 35-6. to six. Let's pick up that M4 band.
Visit HondaBattleTheBands.com. Cast your vote for the M4. Help them advance in the online voting to earn a spot in the 2020 Honda Battle of the Bands competition. 35 to 6. Golden Lions. On our way to win number 5. And 2 and 1 in conference play. Heading into a bye week. Remember, new start times for our final two home games of the regular season. 3 p.m. kickoffs now for the Grambling game two weeks from today on October 26th. And also Saturday, November 23rd, 3 p.m. kickoff versus Texas Southern. Grzminski boots it. and It will reach the end zone and a touchback. Valley will begin at its 25. Starting to get a little chippy between the Lions and the Delta Devils. Shannon Patrick, 21 of 28, passing 312 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Taylor Porter, 20 carries, 95 yards, two touchdowns. Wilkes, Miller, and Ralph, each with touchdown receptions. Four hundred twenty-one yards total offense. Little flip pass and out in the flat. Another good open field tackle by the Golden Lions. Paul Reeves with the tackle. Tighten back in at quarterback for Mississippi Valley State. Loss of about six brings up second down and 16 for the Delta Devils. Loss of six on the pass to Barnett out of the backfield. Second down, 16 for the Delta Devils. Two receivers left, one right. Defense has been dominant since the first quarter. Gillum with the initial contact on the gain of three will make it third down and 13. For the Delta Devils, who are 4 of 10 on third downs today. Third down and 13. 35-6. Golden Lions in control here in the fourth quarter. Two receivers left, two right. Todd, short drop near side, caught. Has running room, first down, 30, 35, 40. It's a foot race down the near sideline. And Malik Myers will score. Titans pass is complete to number 86, Malik Myers. Touchdown, Delta Devils. But there, is a flag there is a flag on the play all the way back at the line of scrimmage. And everybody's walking back. Number eight, the offense. The 10-yard penalty. Holding called on Jarius Clayton. Take the touchdown right off the board. And that'll make it third and 23. So he raced that. Seventy-eight yard touchdown reception. We're we'll back the Delta Devils up ten. Uh, we'll call it nine to the twenty-three yard line. The Pivotal will bring up third down and twenty-two for the Delta. Third and twenty-two from the thirteen line to gain is the thirty-five. One receiver left, three right. Handoff, hitting the backfield, Xavier Mitchell, along with Jalen Stewart. Handoff is Bring out the number game. 20, Dwayne Barnett. Jalen Stewart on the tackle. That brings up fourth down. 
And this defense continues to make plays here in the fourth quarter. And Reed will punt for the Delta Delta. Reed to punt. Ralph awaits it around the Valley 45. Good snap. Raffle drift back and field it at our 49. Running left. Into Valley Territory at the 40. 35 forced out at the 32 yard line. Go. 12 12 remaining. Golden Lions in control. 35 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. Join us each Monday for the Lions War All Access Show. The show airs live from 410 Lounge, formerly The Social, from 6 to 7 p.m. Be a part of our live audience as we recap the week in Golden Lions Athletics. Hear from UAPB coaches and administrators and enjoy great food and beverage specials as we get you set for Monday Night Football. If you can't join us in person, listen live on the UAPB Sports Network in Pine Bluff on 99.3 FM The Beat or online at UAPBLionsWar.com or on the UAPB Athletics app. The video version of the show will air on Cox Sports Television Wednesdays at 1 p.m. in 18 states across the country. Join us each week in person for Lions Roar All Access Monday at 6 p.m. live from the 410 Lounge and listen live on 99.3 The Beat. The UAPB Lions are coming. You feel it from the moment you enter our campus. It's a legacy of greatness. We are the Golden Lion family, committed to innovation and truth. We all come from different places, but now call the Pride Lands home. Whether it's the sciences, arts, or business, we're shaping the minds that one day will reshape the world. The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Become a part of the pride. Golden Lion student athletes had strong performances in the classroom. The women's cross country, women's track, men's tennis, and men's cross country teams each earned a perfect academic progress rate score of 1,000 for the 2017-18 year. A total of 13 of the 14 UAPB teams achieved above the NCAA mandate of 930 over the previous four year period. So congratulations to our UAPB student athletes. You make us proud. First and 10, Golden Lions at the Valley 30-yard line. Allen, gain of two, we'll call it three, up to the 27-yard line. Looking to perhaps put the final nail in the Delta Devils' coffin. Here we're under 12 to play, leading 35-6. to six. Two receivers left, two right. Skyler Perry, nine quarterback. Fade route, far side, incomplete. Intended for Ballard, but a flag on the play. Blood saw in coverage, a flag in the secondary at the two-yard line. Tompkins trying to plead his case. They pick up the flag saying no foul for pass interference. Third down seven for the Golden Lions from the Valley 27 yard line with 1142 remaining. 35 to six. UAPB in front. Perry, short drop, looks left, throws, incomplete, threw too high for McNeil. Had two receivers in the area. Not sure if it was for McNeil or for Ballard. We'll bring on Pivniska for the field goal attempt. 
from 45 yards from the left hand. Bring out the kick. Snap down. Kick up. Has a distance. It is just short. And just short. 11.32 remaining. Golden Lions 35, Delta Devils 6 on the UAPB Sports Network. The ideal cut round diamond was developed by a mathematician in 1919. The method was used to release the maximum amount of brilliance inside a diamond. That was 100 years ago. The future is fire polish and you have to see it to believe it. Nanotechnology creates an explosion of fire that's over 300 times more brilliant. Come see the brilliant future of diamonds for yourself at Sissy's Log Cabin. Sissy's Log Cabin, because life's too short for ordinary jewelry. We are the SWAC. Our heritage lifts us to great heights. Because my history is forged by trailblazers that motivates me today to focus on my future. We are the SWAC. We are the new trailblazers. And this is my heritage. Dear Adidas, we believe that through sport, we have the power to change lives. A female, coaching me. Is anybody watching female sports? Oh, it's a kiss down. But female athletes are being left behind. We have the power to make a new world for female athletes. So come together, fight for equality, and level the field to ensure that no matter the challenge ahead, she breaks barriers. Simmons Bank has a lot of pride in Pine Bluff. It's been our home since 1903. But our goal has always remained the same, to help make our customers' dreams come true. From our headquarters downtown to more than 200 locations across eight states. That's a lot of dreams coming true. And they all started right here in Pine Bluff. Simmons Bank, Pine Bluff Proud. Eleven thirty-two remaining. Golden Lions lead 35-6. Tight neck quarterback. Deep ball. Far side. Incomplete. Intended for Wilson. Coverage by Jordan Brown. We'll make it second down and ten. Number 29 on the coverage. That was Jordan Brown. Other scores around the conference. Just over a minute to play in the first half. Alabama State 14, Jackson State 10. At halftime, Alcorn 28, Savannah State 17. Pass caught on the far side. Gain of five, maybe six, up to the 33-yard line. Brown and Watts on the stop on the reception by Wilson. Jordan Brown on the tackle. Two and a half to play in the first half. Texas Southern 17. Gain of about six brings up third Missouri S and T 16. Halftime Grambling 7. Alabama AM nothing. Later tonight, the West Showdown between Prairie View and Southern from Baton Rouge. As Totten rolls right. I believe he has just enough for a valley first down, but there is a flag on the play. Scott Johnson and his crew have been busy this afternoon. Tune in with me at the same time. They never reset. Five yard penalty. The offense. Still third down. Sixth penalty of the afternoon against the Delta Devils. Very efficient game for the Golden Lions. Just two penalties for 25 yards. Ten and a half remaining. Here at Simmons Bank Field, 35-6, Golden Lions in control. 39 for Valley from is 28. Totten drops. Far side, deep ball, caught. And then knocked out of bounds at around the 41. 
of the Golden Lions. Clayton with the catch, Brown with the tackle. Running right, upended at the 40. Gain of two, maybe three by Smith. Nine fifty in county. Roger Todd in the second. Former Golden Line quarterback here in second half action for the Delta Devils. He scrambles right, trying to get outside, makes a move across the thirty-five. They'll mark him out at the thirty-five. Gain of five will make it third down and three. That brings up third down and three. Tariq Nelson and Joshua Wallace getting some valuable reps here in the fourth. Totten pressured. Here's the throws incomplete. Nelson collapsed along with Jalen Stewart. Put great pressure on the pocket. We'll bring up fourth down and three. Valley offense will stay on the field. Defense looking for another fourth down stop. Totten will roll left. Pressure. Throws. Incomplete. Break. Break, 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 break. Go to break. Golden Line football when we come back with 9.05 remaining. Leading 35-6 on the UAPB Sports Network. The 410 Lounge has lunch specials and happy hour five days a week. Formerly The Social, located at 303 West 31st Avenue, ask about their tasty vegetarian options as well. Lunch is served daily at 11 a.m. with happy hour beginning at 5 p.m. The facility is also available to rent for your special event. Call 870-441-1645. Visit the 410 Lounge, proud supporter of your Golden Lions. Dear Adidas, we believe that through sport, we have the power to change lives. A female, coaching me. Sandy, what are you watching? Female sports. Pumas and Kista. But female athletes are being left behind. We have the power to make a new world for female athletes. So come together, fight for equality, and level the field to ensure that no matter the challenge ahead, she breaks barriers. Last season, the UAPB men's sports teams combined for the best ever finish in the SWAC Commissioner's Cup standings as the best overall men's program in the conference. The men's cross-country indoor track and outdoor track team set the tone for the top finish. The men's cross-country team won its first SWAC championship since 1993. The men's indoor track team finished third, while the men's outdoor track team finished fourth. The men's golf team made a nearly 100-shot improvement in finishing fourth, and men's basketball finished tied for third. Men's cross-country coach Chris McCoy was named SWAT Coach of the Year, and men's golf coach Roger Totten was named SWAT Co-Coach of the Year. Congratulations to the men's sports programs. The UAP Lions are coming. First and 10 Golden Lions from our 35-yard line, leading 35-6 to six with 9.05 remaining. Perry at quarterback will stack the receivers two by two with the running back Allen offset right. He goes in motion. Pass to on the outside to Kobe McNeil. He gains five to the 40. Bobble that held on to it. Got a gain of five. And the five brings up second down and five for the Golden Lions on 
Bloodshaw on the stop. Second down and five. 840 and counting. Allen running left. First down to the 45. Gets a few more up to the 47 yard line. Gain of seven. Each team has run 61 plays. We're now at 436 yards on our 62nd play. 61 plays for Valley, 292 yards. But only 132 of those yards after the first quarter. As Allen with the gain of one up to the 48, second down and nine coming up. And the ability to really stymie that Valley defense, Valley offense, I should say, after the first quarter gave us time to, again, 10-9, be very methodical, didn't have to rush, didn't have to be out of rhythm as Allen breaks a big run down the far sideline, forced out inside the 35, and the late flag will add 15 to the end of the run. A little frustration push, if you will, by the Delta Devils. I believe it was Silvestri. Forced out Allen around the Valley 33. And the late flag should move the football to the 18. First and 10, Golden Lions at the Valley 18-yard line. Just past the midway mark of the fourth quarter. On our way to win number five here in 2019. One receiver left, three right from the far hash. Allen cuts it up, gets one to the 17-yard line. Second down, nine. Afternoon likely over for Taylor Porter. 20 carries, 95 yards, two touchdowns. Shannon Patrick, 21 of 28. Season high, 312, three touchdowns. Most importantly, no interceptions. We had eight giveaways in the previous two games, only one today. Second down nine for the Golden Lions at the Valley 17 with 620 and counting. Allen running left across the 15, powers forward up to the 12. Gain of seven will make it third down and four. Allen with two touchdowns this season. One of the many local products on this Golden Lions roster. Head coach Cedric Thomas, his staff, recruiting heavily at home in this Pine Bluff, immediate Pine Bluff area. And of course, all Central Arkansas trying to get the best players to stay home and make a difference right here at UAPB. Perry throws incomplete. Tried to hit Allen out of the backfield, had to drill it in there. With the pressure coming, now they'll bring up fourth down. And we'll bring on Pivniska for another field goal attempt. This one from the far hash should be around a 29 or a 30 yard attempt. Pivniska a little short from 45 earlier in the game. And earlier in this quarter. This one, a 30-yard attempt from the left hash. And timeout called by Cedric Thomas. Can't get the personnel on field in time. It's going to cost us five. He calls timeout to maintain the field position. Early third quarter, Grambling 7, Alabama A&M nothing. 
at halftime. Alabama State 14, Jackson State 10 at halftime. Alcorn State 28, Savannah State 17. And at halftime, Texas Southern and Missouri S&T, which stands for Science and Technology, all tied at 17. Tonight at 6, Prairie View at Southern. Southern last played two weeks ago in a 31-7 win here at Simmons Bank Field. Prairie View defeated Grambling in Dallas 42-36, I believe was the final. Big showdown in the West in Baton Rouge. Following the timeout, Pivniska on for the 30-yard attempt from the left hash. Snap down, kick up, and it is good. So Pivniska connects from 30 as we extend to a 38-6 lead with 532 remaining. Let's pick up that M4 band. Visit HondaBattleOfTheBands.com right now. Cash your vote for the M4. Let's get the marching musical machine of the Mid-South to the 2020 Honda Battle of the Bands. Volleyball in action tomorrow at Prairie View at 5.30 p.m. Monday night at Texas Southern at 6.30 p.m. Of course, Lions for All Access live from the 410 Lounge, 6 p.m. on Monday. Going to be a part of our live audience. You also can watch the television version of the show in 18 states around the country on Cox Sports Television every Wednesday at 1 p.m. And also can watch online on demand at UAPBLionsRoar.com forward slash watch. Click the on demand tab and watch all of this season's previous shows and previous game broadcasts. Football bye week next week. Back at home and back in action two weeks from today. Remember, new start time for the Grambling game at 3 p.m. here at Simmons Bank Field. Golden Lions improving to 5-2 and two overall, 2-1 two and one in conference plate. Tied in the short drop, quick pass in the flat. Short gain, if that. Kid on the reception. Merriweather on the stop. Officially, I will give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll call it no gain. Second down and 10 under five minutes remaining. Johnson in motion. Handoff up the middle, gain of one to the 27. Number 20 on the carry, Dwayne Barnett. Ian on the stop, number 44, Monroe Beard. Caius Lewis, his first carry, gain of one. Third and nine, 420 and counting. Here from beautiful Simmons Bank Field on the campus of University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. As Todd pressured, he will take off. Hit at the 30. Bounces off, gets to the 33. We'll bring up fourth down and three. And don't forget tomorrow, our NFL Golden Lions, Teron Armstead and the Saints will be in action at Jacksonville. Jamie Gillen and the Cleveland Browns will host Seattle both games at noon. On CBS and Fox, respectively. So read on to punt. Kevian Johnson set to receive around our 30-yard line. 
dealing with an outstanding game and the Monday night loss at San Francisco, had five punts of more than 50 yards, including a 71-yarder in the fourth quarter. Off to a great start in his career, was named AFC Special Teams Player of the Month for his play in September. As Johnson with the punt return up to the 34-yard line with 314 remaining. Stay with us for Lions Roar postgame. We'll break down key numbers from today's game. Scoring recap, scores from around the SWAC, and look ahead to the upcoming schedule in Golden Lion Athletics. Perry in the offense from our 34 with 314 remaining. Perry will fake the toss and he'll keep it back to the line of scrimmage. We'll bring up second down for UAPB. Tackled by number 59, Terrence Williams. No game on the play brings up second down and 10. Chris Robinson the second, Terrell McCray Jr., Paul Todd among the receivers on the field for the Golden Lions. Two forty-five and counting. Thirty-eight to six, UAPB. Allen with the cutback gains one to the thirty-five yard line, maybe two to the thirty-six. Will depend on the spot. We'll bring up third down, and we'll give him two, and we'll call it third and eight. Third down and eight. As 52 for Valley, Deion Reed lost his helmet, has to be out for a play. Third and eight for the Golden Lions as we approach two minutes remaining in this 38-6 win. And the exorcism of the Delta Devils. Plenty of time to play clock, so we'll let it run down. 15, game clock under two to play. On this beautiful fall afternoon here at Simmons Bank Field. Five and two sounds oh so nice. As Allen with the run, he gains two to the 37. Clock still on the move. Now with 90 seconds remaining. Short gain on the play. Fourth and seven. Have to bring the punting unit on one more time. Piney averaging 39.3 yards on three punts. All three down inside the 20. And delay of game called against the Golden Lions. Only the third penalty against us today. That'll back us up five to the 32. 56.2 seconds remaining. And Piney gets it away. Another good punt, great punt. Fair caught inside the 20 with a market at the 20. They'll mark it at the 20 with 48.5 seconds remaining. Another strong, efficient, methodical effort by the Golden Lions. Nice to have a comfortable win at home. We led 7-6 after one. 21-6 at the half and steadily pulled away. Now with 48.5 seconds remaining. 
tied in the gun for the Delta Devils. Short drop, looks left, deep ball, near side. Incomplete, no flag, second down and 10. Purdue, the intended receiver, Bentley in coverage for the Golden Lions. By week coming at a good time for the Golden Lions. Season began back on Labor Day weekend at TCU. Strong defensive performance got the attention of many as Titan launches deep ball downfield incomplete. Intended for Sutton on the far side. Titan pass incomplete. Intended for Christian Sutton. I believe it was Solomon Brooks in coverage for UAPB. The offense really got rolling at Alabama A&M. Good road conference win. Really set the tone for what this season has been to this point. Only a loss to Southern since August 31st. Quick pass in the flat, good tackle by Brooks on the catch by Kidd. And that could be the final play. Clock inside of 20 seconds and counting. As the clock winds down on win number five for UAPB. Golden Lions win. Golden Lions win. 38 to 6. Lions Roar post game is next on the UAPB Sports Network. Join us each Monday for the Lions War All Access Show. The show airs live from 410 Lounge, formerly The Social, from 6 to 7 p.m. Be a part of our live audience as we recap the week in Golden Lions Athletics. Hear from UAPB coaches and administrators and enjoy great food and beverage specials as we get you set for Monday Night Football. If you can't join us in person, listen live on the UAPB Sports Network in Pine Bluff on 99.3 FM The Beat or online at UAPBLionsRoar.com or on the UAPB Athletics app. The video version of the show will air.